Today we want to solve a very, very important equation, one of, of great meaning to me. Um, so this is y equals the log base e of x over m minus sa uh, divided by r squared. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this r squared in the denominator of the right side by multiplying both sides by r squared. Now when we do this, uh, this is what we end up with very predictably, very easy math here, y r squared equals, and you see that the denominator has disappeared, we've canceled it out, uh, y times r squared equals the log base e of x over m minus sa. Okay, we're we all good. Now we need to get rid of this logarithm here, and because it's log base e, if we raise, if we if we take e and raise both sides to this, these as a power, here's what happens. So we get e to the y r squared. See, we've raised e to this power, and when we raise this side, e to this side, the log cancels out. Isn't that a neat little trick? It's like that thing where you have the strings, you know, and you put your hand in it and you pull it and, and your hand's outside the string. Isn't it amazing? So if you take e and raise it to the log of e, you know, the log of e disappears and you're left with x over m minus sa. Now, we're very close to a breakthrough in understanding this equation. Um, the key is now we know, well, actually, let's get rid of this m. We want to get rid of this m in the denominator. And so we're going to multiply both sides by m. And what we're going to get is me to the y r squared. And then when we multiply this side by m, so the that's going to get rid of the m in the denominator here, leaving us with x. Uh, and then we multiply both sides by m. So this is going to be msa, OK? So we're very, now we're very close. We're very close to a breakthrough here. Um, and the key here uh, is th that, of course, we can redistribute. So m times s times a is the same as m times a times s, right? And r squared is basically r times r. And we can rearrange the order. It doesn't matter. You can a times b equals b times a. It's the commutative property of equality, you know, that we can change the order in which things are, are multiplied. And so m e to the y r squared is the same as m e to the r r y. And this is the same as x minus mas. And so there we have it. We have the solution to this problem. Merry Christmas.